Legend of Zelda War here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster battle playing as Katarin, as uh, the Ice Court, going up against the combined forces of the Exiles of Korn, and also uh, the Legion of Chaos, which is gone with Korn Focus. Now, we're sallying out in this situation here, so I can sort of explain the situation a little bit before we jump into it. So this uh, save file here was sent in by Ragnarok Tone of War, who's a friend of the channel. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. This is a campaign that he was live streaming, so you can see what happened to get to this point. I haven't personally watched it yet, um, cause, uh, but having a look at the situation, um, I don't know what he was doing, um, because it looks like he's been doing nothing this entire campaign up to turn 64. He's only got uh, two settlements. Katarin's only rank 13. It's on legendary difficulty with very high battles. How did you avoid getting Katarin any levels up? Was she just not fighting any battles? Also, like I was looking at this, 19 support compared to um, to Castalton. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like he might be doing a challenge campaign where he just does nothing. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but anyway, he barely has any equipment. You know, I can't put stuff in here that we don't have. So that's just that. Uh, Prague is also under siege, but it's actually better not to lift the siege because... And that one would be really easy. Because this army here can't besiege Prague while that one is besieging it. So leave it under siege. Deal with this stuff here first. And then... I don't know. Figure it out. It's only tier 2. The best thing you can hope to do with that is just hold on to that as for as long as possible. But yeah, you really should have closed these portals. Bad move there, but what are you going to do? Anyway, got to sally out here. Now you could wait for them to launch the attack on the city, but we've actually got a bit of an advantage selling out here because the map is really good for us. The problem here is that we're just up against very dangerous units. There's loads of um, heavily armored, shielded infantry, and we don't have much armor piercing. We've got a bit um, with the Streltsies, but I've often found that Streltsies, they're a bit... Eh, I don't really like them that much, but we'll see how we go. Okay. So we've got uh, essentially two full stacks. They've got um, you know, a full stack there and almost a full stack there. It's definitely in our best interest to control large armies. Let me just explain what happens if we don't control large armies. That's a huge mistake if we do that. Because sometimes people say, oh, how come you didn't control large army in this situation, where most of the time you do? Well, the reason for it in this situation is because they're different factions. Not controlling a large army... Um, disables an army, any particular faction, from bringing in 20 units. But if there's two factions coming in, then each of them can bring in 20 units. So in this situation here, what would end up happening is these two units don't show up, but these ones here do. So, and that would just disable our reinforcements. So we'd just weaken ourselves by doing that. Anyway, let's just jump in here and see what we can do. Now, thing is here, we don't just need to win this battle. We need to win this battle well enough that we can actually clean up the rest of the shit that's going on here. Not that I'm personally going to do it, because um, this is the major one that needs to be dealt with. But there's loads of other problems going on. He's got a rebellion going on. There's more corn forces on the way. So if we win this battle here, but 99% of our forces die, it's game over. We, we essentially get the definition of a Pyrrhic victory there. So we have to win really well. Now, with this terrain right here, you could hold a position right there. But I think that would actually be a mistake. You want to be holding it over here. The reason for that is because you want them to have to go around here as much as possible. They'll pathfind poorly. And also they may even try to pathfind around here. And once they've figured out that they can't do that, the, basically what they should do is come at us in waves if, we, if that happens. Also, if we, if we deploy here, we'll have to stretch ourselves out and the back line won't be able to shoot. Whereas if we... Um, spread ourselves out here, the back line should be able to shoot, but it'll open up a wider front, but we'll see how we go. Um, Alright, let's reorganize some of this stuff here. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. I am going to... We really need to make note of which units are, are garrison and which units are part of Katarin's army, I think. I don't usually like doing it this way. Um, you guys go on that one. But we'll see. Because we want these guys up front. And these ones here at the back. Now the cavalry will go and deal with this. And then just be a general nuisance. Try to delay some of their units. Because they've got no actual damage potential. 
Okay, so first up, just start moving them all over here. And we want to move the garrison forces up here first. Because, yeah, like I said, there is no point uh, letting the, the uh, army take all the damage. We've got to try to preserve them, because they've got to go out and deal with the other stuff later. have got plenty of time, I think. <laughs> Which one's... Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, you should be at the back a little bit. Okay, I can hear a portal opening up. Oh god, I hate it when that happens, when it does it with the control groups. Oh, for f Fuck's sake, that's a bad look. Oh my god, I have to redo all of that again. I gotta wait for this one to pass. Oh god, I gotta. Re Thanks for that. Fucking hell, that's annoying. I gotta just redo all of that all over again. I gotta get rid of this first. Luckily, it's not really. D oh, he's doing some damage. Ah, oh, so annoying. Come on, just, just get out of the way. Okay, just get back over there, I'll just have to do it again. Shit, fuck, I hate that. It's so annoying when it does that. Shit, we're not ready. Gonna be in a bloody mess if we don't get organized. had it all right before. And now there's no fucking time because of that damn summon disrupted everything. So good on them. That was a good move on their part, I guess. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Alright, I think that's about as good as we're going to get it. Alright, how'd that go over there? Oh yeah, they, they did alright. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh yeah, these corn summons can be so irritating. Luckily that one there is not really trying to get involved. Alright, I want to get out of these fucking control groups here, because they've made a complete mess out of it. I think they're hidden. Yeah, just keep them hidden for the time being. Alright, that's fine. Alright, I think they've got three of them. Based on the turn number, they would normally have about three at this point. Okay, that one did a bit of damage, but okay. Yeah, so what was happening there is sometimes when you click on certain units in a control group, um, if you even just slightly click and drag it, it'll completely move the placement of it, even if you got it in a locked control group. Um, very, very irritating. It's one of the main reasons I don't use control groups. They're very poorly implemented when you're using massive armies, which is pretty much the only time that you actually need to use a control group. If you've got a small enough army, just don't bother with it. Alright, so looks like they're waiting for reinforcements to get organized. It's okay. Gives us more time to make this look a bit better. Okay, now with the Elemental Bear, it's a derpy as fuck unit, but we really need it to be using its breath attack. It does a ton of damage. Yeah, we're a 
little bit cramped. Just trying to organize it a little bit better. Just a bit. Okay, at least we're in position now. Uh, just gonna have to shoot it. Everyone's on fire, we'll just do what you can there. Yeah, those were some really annoying summons, but at least that's them dealt with before the battle's really begun. What are you fucking doing? You dumb shit. Get face that way. Fuck, I hate those units. Probably one of the derpiest units in the game. Yeah, it did a bit of damage. Alright. Move back into formation. Alright, everyone's going to come out sort of once. Okay, when there's a bit more of a gap open up, I'll bring the cavalry over here and just run around their back. Alright, we've got incoming here. We want to slow it down as it's coming in. Okay, get rid of the fire at will again. Alright, how are we doing there? Yeah, so the back line here probably isn't going to shoot. But there's just nowhere else to put them. We're out of space. If we cramp it up too much, uh, that's going to be really bad because they're going to... Oh crap, I forgot to pop this down. Oh yeah, that worked out pretty well. Good. Good, 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 good. And... Minimal amount of damage onto our own units. That's good. That's a very dangerous unit. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're not entirely sure what they're doing. They're not really coming around this way, but this is okay. Alright. Bring them out, and let's see if we can get a bunch of units to chase after them. Hopefully slow units. Because, uh, actually, no, stay where you are. Because, yeah, Flesh Hounds of Corn, they can actually catch up to them. And on this difficulty, um, Flesh Hounds of Corn can actually beat our cavalry. So, it'd just be a waste of ounce of power if we set them in there. So, all of the units up front, with the exception of a couple of units, uh, should be garrison troops. Now, another thing here is that it's really important not to tell your missile units what to attack because they're super derpy when you give them attack orders. Just let them, just give them automation. This one here, the breath attack to be used against infantry. So I want them to be slow while coming in here. So far, so good. The Tsar Guard are, of course, going to get absolutely obliterated, but it's part of the garrison, so it's okay. Okay, now you guys can come over here, disrupt some of their units. Okay, that's part of the army, so we want to try to protect it if we absolutely have to. But the most important thing here is to win. Wait for more infantry units to clump up before we use the breath attack. Otherwise, it's just going to waste it. Good, they got some infantry coming after us there. Cool, cool, cool. Just lead them on a wild goose chase. Oh, shit. That's not ideal because they're getting getting get close to us here. Need to cast us now. Because otherwise, if they touch him, he won't shoot. Stupid temperamental piece of crap bear. Shoot! <laughs> shoot! Hurry up! There you go, good. Fucking hell. <laughs> Don't want to pull them back. They, they need to hold that line there a bit. Dealing with all their most dangerous units first. I guess that's something. Uh, yeah. The element of bear is not terrible against them, but uh, just, just chill for now. Cast the damn spell. Because I need this guy in this position here. He's best used as an anti-infantry breath attack machine. Try to keep him out of melee, or else they'll uh, prevent him from doing it. Maybe just move back a little bit. Take a bit of damage. He's going down. We're, we're, we're okay here. We're okay. You just keep being distracting over there. Uh, 
Had to run out of that. Although, actually, no, no, you can take him out now. No, 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 no. He's just not going to succeed there. We need to get rid of those blood crushes. He's eating this unit up. Well, we've got a good situation, I think, going on over here. Try to slow that down a little bit. And do some damage, that is. See, now it's in melee. Get the fuck out of there, you dumbass bear. That was, that was a really good position there. It's out of the way from them shooting and at a good angle for these, but these ones here just kept pushing. I gotta get rid of them. Uh, we don't have any heal spells on them. Try to come around this way, maybe. Come on, Elemental Bear. Get the fuck over here, you derpy piece of shit. This is why they're a fucking D tier unit, right? Move it, you fucking piece of crap! You unresponsive piece of shit! Get into position so you can use your fucking breath attack! God, it just feels so awful to use these piece of crap. But when it finally gets in there, it does do a ton of damage. Alright. Uh, yeah, this one here is basically screwed. Let's try to keep it out of there so just so the unit actually survives. Forty more seconds, we can pop it down again. Can't get out of there. Nice blob. Winning the battle. Now winning. And again, mostly just garrison is getting wiped out. Here, you go in there. Keep falling back. Alright, we've also got this we can use now. Okay, I don't really want the Streltsies taking excessive damage. Let's move them back. It's okay if the Ice Guard go into melee because they are part of the garrison. Bounce power's looking good. Alright, last cast. Fucking do a good job of it. The fuck are you doing? This really needs a, like, attack on ground area. <laughs> I fucking hate this unit so much. Okay, come on, do a good job of it. Are you gonna... Okay, he's doing it. Alright, good. He did a good job. But man, it just feels so awful to use. Okay, now you can go in and fight. Ah, oh, shit. This one here is part of the army. Get it out of there. I don't know what happened to the other one. I think it routed or died. Alright, bounce power's looking good. Alright, let's pop down some of these. It's not great against armored units, but pff, I don't have any other damaging spells. And reducing their speed while they're in melee is pretty stupid. Uh, could recharge them. Probably won't do much. Uh, might do better than nothing. It's part of the garrison, so better it take damage than the rest of us. The... Unfortunately, in the army, the armored Kossars got wrecked. I, I really needed their ammunition at the front, so unfortunately they just end up dead, but everyone else is okay. Apart from running out of ammo. Come on, I need to cast faster. They're still eating up the garrison. Once the elemental bear gets into melee, it uh, doesn't do a great job. And we'll just try to keep cycle charging here as best we can. And hopefully the army losses will be inflicted on them before they start eating up our army. How are you guys going? Yeah, you're not in an amazing position there, but you can probably move back to here. Maybe. So, you know, Katarin's done a little bit of damage. Actually, she's done quite a bit. Alright, 
But yeah, these guys here showing up late was thanks to them derping them around. Army losses shouldn't be too far off now. Victory's in our grasp. They're starting to get past our garrison. There's just about nothing left of it. But it was really important that the garrison took really all the damage so that we can um, take out the other stuff as well. Because obviously we can't bring the garrison out with us. There we go, we've won. And the army, I mean apart from the armoured Cossars, I think is there a frontline unit? If I had put them at the back, they just they wouldn't have done anything. And the most important thing here was to win. And yeah, let's run them down a bit. Right, stop firing, I'm just gonna get friendly fire there. Oh boy, uh, tough fight. Not too much damage. Probably we'll still end up with a Pyrrhic victory just because of how much damage we did take and we did use up most of our ammo. These guys here did pretty... Mm, a lot of damage because they, yeah, they were shooting at um, sing, single entities. Oh man, look, the Elemental Bear did a great job. It's just such a fucking difficult unit to use. Because it's so derpy. Uh, using it that way. Obviously if you've got like an Elemental Spam, Elemental Bear Spam, and you just go into melee, it's fine, I guess. But yeah, just trying to get it at short range to get in a good shot of this. It just takes one unit to touch it. And sometimes it just won't even shoot. It's just a really temperamental unit. And so, <laughs> naturally you can see I got a bit frustrated with it. Just, just, it was very simple what I wanted to do. And it just wasn't doing it fast enough. Because that's the thing with these big single entity monsters, right? A lot of single entity monsters in the game are really responsive, they've got great animations, and they just do a great job. But there's a few that are super big, super slow, and just super stupid. Um, another notable example of a unit that's like that is the Dreadsaurian. It's just too big, too derpy. And even though it is really strong, it's um, lack of mobility comparative to its size, uh, really works against this. Whereas, if you get a unit like a Dragon Ogre Shaggoth, right, that's a very versatile unit that is, like, a pleasure to use. Like, it's very responsive, right? Same thing with, like, a Carnosaur. Carnosaurs have really good animations. But, yeah, the, uh, Elemental Bears, fucking awful. Alright. Alright, we're not quite done yet, but yeah. Oh, look, both units actually did survive, so that's good. And the army is in, you know, okay shape. It was always going to be a Pyrrhic victory because of how much damage the garrison took. But that's why it was really important to make sure the garrison was up front, these guys were back. Because now these ones have to go out and finish uh, the rest of the stuff because the garrison can't wi come with us. That's why we wanted to make sure the garrison took the damage. There's no point doing it the other way around. If the army had taken all the damage and the garrison was fine, then they'll just come straight back. Alright, so... We could get a fair amount of replenishment, which will also affect this one as well. Um, considering the situation, you definitely need money. Like, an extra three grand is good, for sure. But... You... You... You don't have any ability to recruit units instantly. So... <laughs> the thing is, the amount that we're replenishing is not worth three grand. But you need replenishment more than you need this. Because we're just not done here. So we're going to go with that. We got like 11 grand from the victory, so we're just going to go with that. That's what we need more. It's no, no point losing the campaign but having 20 grand in the bank. That's pointless. Okay. We're not done yet. Uh, that'll help. But no additional equipment. Okay. So yeah, your replenishment rate's really good. And we got Katarin to rank 17. Now I'm gonna rank her up a bit for you. I usually don't do this, but this is so fucking dire <laughs> that I'm gonna make a few decisions here. So, you went right down the blue line first, which I don't necessarily disagree. What I have a problem with is being at turn 64 and not being like rank 40. Uh, or 50 really. 
Um, because your your legendary lord just should be active constantly, especially on legendary difficulty. You just were sitting on your hands or something. You should never be doing that, no matter what faction you play as. Even Nurgle should ha have higher levels than this. Uh, what level were their characters? Well, we killed that one. That is a uh, blood host. Okay. Mistress of ice. Yeah, it's just unacceptable for that to have been at rank 13. All right, you definitely need a war bear. That's just a given. Um, it's pretty obvious that you want to go down this way at some point. So I want to try to pick the things that are obvious that you would get. So I don't really want to go down the red line because he may not want to go down firing drills. He may want to go down best of the court, which will improve Sargard and Ice Guard. So we don't have those units in the army right now. Ice Mistress would be good. Um... That'll be good, but you're going to rank up again this turn. So don't worry about that right now. We don't have any Ice Guard. That, that is really good, though. Um, I'd probably go with this right now. Because that is very good. And then Guardian's Call, just so that we've got an extra summon unit. I usually just put one point into that, because the upgraded points is not really worth it. it if it gave us extra summons, like if we do it two, three times, that would be good, but it doesn't do that. Okay, we need Suliax Alibi. That was absolutely critical from the previous battle. What's the... Ooh, knowledgeable, right. <laughs> What's this one? Confident, okay. So the traits aren't super useful there. So the next thing here is this one, right? Now it's really important that we we go out there and beat that now because it's going to add an additional four units on there over the end turn, right? Now another thing that could end up happening is that it might just decide to besiege the settlement. If it does that, any replenishment that you have are going to do is just going to be stalled, giving these guys time to recover. So it's really important that rebellions don't disrupt you. So having an invasion happen at the same time as a rebellion can be super fucking annoying. Um, so you just got to clean shit up. This this just needs a massive clean out. All right, we should be strong enough to beat that. These guys here will have to stay out of it, but we should be strong enough. Don't have any other equipment. Um, all right, let's let's see what we can do here. It, it does say the balance of power is not in our favor because you can see the little and it like if you have a look over here, it shows us the balance of powers. Um, what you could do is clean out these ones here, finish them off first. Only obey blood father. But that'll damage us. Whereas those will be easy to beat after we assume we beat this one here. Alright, let's let's sort this out. Alright, close defeat. Uh, should be fine. The problem here is just loads of Chaos Knights. Because what they do is they just charge into your infantry and just try to press down multiple units. If we could try to get them to come ahead of the Marauders, that would be good. Alright, we should be fine. Let's, let's handle this. Yeah, it's pretty funny. In this one turn here, I'm going to get Katarin essentially more levels up than she had in the entire previous 63 turns. But yeah, look, in terms of, like, this campaign, if I was, like, rating this campaign, you'd be getting very low score. But I don't know what you were doing in it. Maybe this was part of your challenge. Maybe it was, like, one of those those ones where... I, I just don't know. Where you just don't do anything for 50 turns. Um, which, I don't recommend doing that in the Realm of Chaos <laughs> campaign. Especially with Kislev. Alright. I think uh, this position over here is okay. There's a bunch of trees in there which will slow down any cavalry that go in there and also reduce their melee attack. I don't want to put my units in there, though. Um, if I could go over here... Uh, this is interesting terrain. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go over here. Keep these guys at the rear. Um, I think I'll actually put the... Uh, the Streltsy at the rear. If I put them at the front, they'll have a better line of sight, but they'll be immediately charged by cavalry. And the thing is, we should be able to shoot over our Kossar's heads in order to shoot cavalry, because that's what I need them for. And we should definitely check a board. Let's 
Got to be as nice and tidy as we can possibly get it. Alright, that seems alright. Uh, yeah, you three move over here. I think they'll... Because we're on the... Oh, bounce power is actually not in our favor. Okay. But since we got heals... Which would be useful. Okay. Make sure they're all in guard mode. And move to... Let's see which position. That looks alright to me. Alright, let's just see how that goes. And then what we want to do is send Katarin to go annoy them. we got time to just let the uh, the magic generate anyway. Alright, how are the Streltsies looking? Are they going to have clean lines of sight? No. Okay, so higher ground over here would be better. But then we need more people over here to defend that position. So let's bring you over here. Bring you two down this way. Got plenty of time, don't worry about that. Doesn't have to be a perfect checkerboard, so it's got to be good for the cavalry charge as they're coming in. Having units spread out will just mean that a single cavalry charge isn't going to pin down multiple units, because we outnumber them in terms of units, and these are anti-large. Just because they're anti-large doesn't mean that they'll win. You know, because uh, they're just straight out outclassed by, uh, by that unit. Alright. From this angle here, anywhere... You know, let's be real, they're going to flank us. Um, anywhere the knights show up, we should be able... Okay, we can actually use that to block them a little bit. Okay. As long as they don't charge in from the front. But generally speaking, they, us they usually don't do that. Alright, now let's go annoy them. Now, they've got a hell cannon in there. That needs to be dealt with. I don't think we can waste its ammo. No. Okay. Alright, what I'm going to have to do here, to start casting, we need to get their units away from the Hell Cannon, so that I can use Guardian's Call and try to just eat them up with that. But in the meantime, we'll just do some cheapo spells. I just wasn't sure if I should do that. It does have a lot of armor piercing, they are annoying. Doesn't do much damage. The Ice Queen. Power. And they got a metal wizard. I don't want to go charging in there because if I'm pinned down, they'll kill her very quickly. Alright, cool. Now they're advancing. So, we just gotta wait for the right opportunity. Katarin should be faster than all of their units except for the Marauder Horsemen. Actually, she's got the same speed as them. Alright, they're just, uh, dicking around. No big deal, we've got plenty of magic, so even this is a shit spell. Luckily, these ones don't have that much armor, so we're, we're, you know, doing some damage. It's better than nothing. They're not really rushing at us, which is one thing that we kind of want them to do, especially with the cavalry. We don't want them all to come at us all at once. Maybe it's because they've got artillery. That might be why. All right, I'll have to go around them. If they're going to ignore us, then we can maybe use that to our advantage. Because, yeah, the knights can't catch us. And if the knights go around to trying to chase after us, then we'll just run a run around in circles, <laughs> so they don't arrive over there. It's got to react to whatever they're doing. Okay, I can't just send in the summon yet. There's too many units in there. But yeah, if that gets over there, it starts bombing us. It's going to do a ton of damage. Okay, opportunity is presenting itself soon. Okay, I'm going to just take a pot shot in here. Go 
Good job. <laughs> it fucking st didn't do anything. Okay, tiny bit of damage there, and get out of there before they decide to attack. Okay, well, they're not paying attention to us, so let's just put this down. Because they're almost within range. Right, go, 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 go. I gotta get rid of this hell cannon. Good. If you can just get that down to, I think, two crew left. They, I don't think they can operate it at that point. Hey, Blob. Nice, I'll take that. Shit. Gotta take out the damn Hell Cannon crew. Or if they're just gonna stay like that, that could work as well. No, that's fine. Come on, come on. I really want to get that damn crew. Oh, good. There we go. And it's down to... Okay. They're down to two. I don't think they can operate it now. Good. So I think it was a good call to get that ability. Yeah, they're not operating it. Good. And now they're going to rush at us. Cool. So now what we want to do... Because they've changed their tactics because they know they don't have missile superiority now. Or range superiority. So... Now we try to keep as many units back here as possible while the fast units come in. And Katarin's actually pretty good in melee, so... Let's eat their general. Which is actually going really well. Yeah, she's a, she's a good fighter. People often think that just because she's a wizard, she can't fight in melee, but she's she's actually good. In many ways, she's a better melee fighter than a spellcaster. Alright. Well, we weren't able to distract all of their units, but here we go. Yeah, try to kill that lord if we can. How'd that go? No, didn't quite get there. At least a lot of units here are distracted. And this is working out alright. Are you shooting? Yeah, you're doing a bit of damage, not heaps. Should have a clear line of sight. Maybe this guy here is in the way a little bit. Okay, it might be better just to bring Katarin back over here to assist, because we're getting a little... We're doing fine, but we could use our help over here more so than over there. Killing the general definitely would have been good, but she's just struggling with it. Okay, this guy here is getting wrecked way too quickly. Try to get him out of there. But I think he got himself surrounded. Got, got him out. Yep, the Streltsies are shooting. They're not doing amazing, but they are dishing out some damage. I really don't understand what people are saying about Streltsies, about them saying that they're good. I just don't see it. I'll have a look at the damage differences. 
between them and the Cossars at the end of the battle. If I remember, which I usually forget. And this is why we didn't want the army in the previous battles to take any damage. Damage isn't terrible. Yes. Alright, then we just inflicted the army losses. Now it should be a lot easier to deal with them the second time around because they um, they've lost mostly their knights, and we're gonna use this opportunity here now to heal a bit. Yeah. Yeah, most of their knights have been killed. Alright, so let's have a look at some of the damage from the Strozzi. That one did 5,600 damage. This one here did 8,000. That's actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so definitely... Like, that one did a good job. But it's not, like, that much more than the Kossars. And the Kossars are, like, half the price. Yeah, I'm really not convinced about Streltsy. This is an area where they absolutely should have shined. I gave them the best position I could to keep them protected. So, battle's not over yet because of that. Uh, could go random down, but I might not catch up to them. That's fine. Right, bit of damage, but at least it's been beaten. The second time will be a lot easier. A lot easier. Because, yeah, those knights were definitely the biggest problem. And most of them are dead. And once again, use this opportunity to replenish, because while it is good to get money, for sure, um, you've got other enemies to deal with. Send them to the labor camps. That'll be useful if you don't already have one. It's just about double the number of followers that you had previously. I get to Featherfoe talk. Useless, but... Oh, yeah, no, keep that one on. You should fuse it with something anyway, later down the track. Okay, now. Uh, you, you definitely should prioritize finishing this one off. If we have a look at that. Still have enough movement to get to there, maybe. But probably not this one. The reason why this one here needs to be taken out is because... This one is likely to besiege a settlement over the end turn. That one there is not likely to besiege a settlement. That's likely to run away. Although it definitely would be good to finish them off. I just... I can't get to both of them. That's the problem. Dealing with that one there is definitely more important right now, though. Because, yeah, if you're sitting in here, and then they besiege it, no replenishment, no recruitment, no nothing. Alright, let's have a look at some stuff here. Um, what do you need? Yeah, give yourself that. Get close to a uh, shield device, which is My good. Probably want to... Um, well, it would be good to get some more stats. You want to be cleansing some corruption. Looks like your areas are not healthy at the moment. Yeah, let's go with this. And we're not in a position at all to order resolve it. Not one bit. We're going to try to do this with minimal casualties. Now, I didn't really want to finish off the Lord on the previous battle, because now we can use his death to inflict a, a morale penalty in this battle. I mean, I wanted to kill him at the start of the battle, but once we couldn't get that done easily, I just let him go. So that we can get to, on this one. 
Because, yeah, if, if you've killed the Lord in the previous battle, you can't do it now, and there's no way to get a leadership panel. Doesn't it make any real difference at all? Okay, cool. State in formation. Um, maintain that. There. So that the Streltsy are on the high ground. And let's put some of these units at the rear, because they've taken too much damage. Alright, cool. Should be easy enough. And this time they rush straight at us because they don't have a... Hell Cannon. Be good if we can do this without taking a single casualty and then actually replenish again at the end of the battle, but I think that's unlikely. They've still got enough force that they're probably going to break through. If we could use our Patriarchs to hold them back, that would be good, but we also don't want them to get killed. That's it. Try to lure them over here so they can get shot. Okay, now hold them back. Especially the Chaos Chariots. They're a pain in the ass. Yeah, the AI, they really like to ignore your heroes now. You just can't use your heroes to tank half an army. Maybe I should have killed him in the previous battle, because he did just cast on us. He'll probably do it again. Could you finish him off? How many kills did you get? Not that many. Didn't listen to me. Come after him. Army losses should be any moment now. This was never going to be a difficult battle. We just need. To... Oh god damn it! I was hoping he wouldn't cast again. All right. So the purpose of killing him now is just for the loot money. Because okay, there we go. Good. And get these three as much health as possible since we can't restore any of uh, the dead units but we can give her some more health all right cool all right so that's the rebellion dealt with but you said that's the that's the easiest of the things that's on on your to-do list uh now you gotta deal with freaking exiles of corn Everywhere. Well, I saw that the orthodoxy was still alive, so maybe maybe they'll provide you with some relief. Maybe. I'll have a look at how they're going diplomatically. They're way ahead of you on the um, support race. So you had like 15 fucking bloody supporters. Ridiculous. Alright. Um, yeah, take the replenishment. Just not in a position where taking the money is a good idea right now. So... Oh, no, they died. That must have been where he was when he died. Yeah, he's gone. Ugh. But he's still gaining supporters even when he's dead. That's weird. <laughs> Events. Also known as cheats. Yeah, he's dead. You can revive him, but he's dead. All right, uh, we can't get to that one. Um, it might be better to just let that go, so that you can stand within here. Yeah, can't make it all the way back there. But if they besiege it, at least you're not sitting inside the settlement. And what they could do is besiege with one army and attack with the other. But both armies are in really oh gods of bloodthirsty there. So what I want to do here is just try to see if I can get you to survive one end turn. I could force march into the city. Could do that. Um, get more replenishment. Basically guaranteed they won't besiege. But then you won't be able to recruit anything. Which you absolutely need to do. 
how could you let this fucking happen? God damn it. What a catastrophe of a campaign. So yeah, what I'm going to do, move to this position here. Alright, it's got some levels up to do. What do you need? Yeah, I want to get to shield device. It is mine. And... Oh, given the state of the campaign, probably actually need more Streltsy. Um, you've got the... Better, yeah, okay, good. So extra experience. Put that down. You and I. And... We, yeah, merge these ones. We serve the motherland. I will brook no complaints. They come back with more experience anyway, apart from that one that actually had two experience. Um, yeah. I feel a bit weird actually recruiting the Streltsy, so I'm just not a big fan of them, but... I don't know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, right. Oh god. <laughs> this campaign's fucked. How did you only have 19? You must have been bogged down in a civil war for so long. Holy crap. You don't have Boris. Oh my god, this campaign's fucked. So yeah, let's just get through one end turn here and just see what ends up happening here. Um, well, these guys are still alive, so that's good. You can confederate them, but I, I don't know if that's actually a good thing, although these guys here are dead. All right, here's what we do, here's what we do. Military alliance, money, and then confederate them. Um, because it's not going to cause any penalties, and they're about to die anyway, so... Whatever. You got a much higher chance of defending it if it's under our control. Oh, we actually... Okay, cool. Oh, did that get... Cancelled. That doesn't matter. Oh, we just cancelled one of our outpost buildings there. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, we've still got 20 units there, it's fine. And now you've got Plesk, which is... No. Get rid of that. Oh god, look at this crap. I want to build defenses up here as quickly as possible. Fucking hell, man. Our proud land is tainted. Jesus Christ. Fuck. So yeah, in terms of Prague over here, you don't want to sally out. Just let that besiege for a little bit, because that's really easy to beat while this is here. Because what will happen here is if I lift this siege, this army will come in and immediately attack. And that's... The soul grinders in there. Right? There's no way you're going to win that. So just... Hope that they go elsewhere. That is that is fucked. You are so not ready to deal with that. So fucked. Uh, do you have... Uh... Oh my god! What are you doing? Your supply line bugged so badly. Mistress of ice. <laughs> unless, unless they were all from here, which, oh my god. Oh my god! Look, okay. As, now these have been recruited. Oh my god! You, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Actually, I'm just count it. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, six, sixteen fucking generals. Defy chaos. Oh my god! We might as well. You, you've got you, your supply line bugged. You might as well get them. Uh, yeah, I get you. My rule is cemented. Yeah, it didn't increase our supply lines at all. Um, it's just his personal upkeep. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, oh, yeah. Jesus Christ! Uh, might as well have some more units. Alright. Fuck me, this campaign is screwed. Yeah, they're just getting the fuck out of there. Alright, you'll, you'll survive this turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this campaign is just like, it's just a matter of time before it dies. Like, you need to cheese the shit out of this in order to just survive. Oh my god, 16 disbanded lords!
fucking hell. The ice king gives ground. The Adamans don't count, by the way. Yeah, and, and I'm sure that's not exactly 16 supply lines. Some of those lords were probably from Confederation, so it's maximum 16, but let's just be generous and say it was more like 8. So, still, with, with like 32% supply line penalty from them being disbanded. Fucking hell. Yeah, and you need some bloody troops right now. Now that they moved away, now's a good time to actually lift that uh, siege over here. Now, what, what you can do with this one... Um, get him killed, right? Um, and maybe put Katarin in, like, ambush stance. Uh, problem is there's heroes here. So, yeah, use this one. To, like, you saw the army over there, right? Try to lure it over here. Uh, the problem with it is that, um, you're really going to want to use the garrison as well as this. So, maybe even, like, um, keep Katarin here. Um, so they besiege the settlement, and then you use Katarin to attack, so that you get to use both armies, because Katarin's army by herself will not be able to defeat that. Um, you Lord, don't, you got, you're probably going to have to go into the red, but one thing that could really help you out is getting a bunch of these, these idiot lords killed. Just recruit them and throw them at the enemy. Just get rid of them. They're costing you 4% each. That's ridiculous. Um, you should be able to... Re mm. Yeah, you should be able to repel that, but... Get that in there. But yeah, uh, I'm not going to spend the next 40 fucking hours trying to fix this. I've done the best I could with that turn. Holy crap, this campaign is ruined. But anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Do not let it get this bad. Anyway, appreciate Ragnarok Total War for sending in this save file. Very interesting situation. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Um, see if he manages to turn it around. I doubt it, though. I like... I... I I question whether or not I could even turn this around at this point. It's fucked. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.